Good morning. This is just a quick video. I want to quickly show you guys how I cut this tree down. Um, it, it's a, this tree I airlayed from a, my neighbor's tree, which is a very aggressive growing tree. Um, did a couple of air layers from it. Had it growing in bags for about probably two years and it's been planted in the ground here for about a year and it's doing really well. Um, as you can see, and there's a little chameleon. I'll make sure I go through the tree thoroughly to make sure I get them all out. But last year, on this lower branch over here, I did a, a graft. You can see the the, the graft union there, it was a, just a, a V graft, graft or a wedge graft and this is Pinkerton that I grafted onto it. So it's put out, it was just a short little um, scion like that and it's split into that and now we've got this little um, Pinkerton branch here and he's, it's now the other Pinkertons are flowering so this one's pushing a little bit of flowers. The fruit on this variety is not great at all. And um, my plan was to regraft this tree with lamb, and um, and I just decided I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep that Pinkerton on there, and then um, so I'm going to basically because this Pinkerton branch is not getting any sun, it's it's underneath the canopy, so it's not really growing. So what I'll do is I'll cut all these branches, that branch, the main trunk, everything. And I'll just leave this and sort of try and guide it upward a little bit um, to let this tree then become a, a, a Pinkerton tree. Um, this rootstock, this tree has um, established itself really, really well over here. Um, you can see there's little feeder roots. I've got nice, um, you know, there's a, a lot of feeder roots up here, but I've got a nice um, organic soil um, there's some zeolite a little zeolite rock and some perlite and compost and all sorts of things in there not a lot of perlite just the perlite that it that was in the pot when i when i had this planted in the pot but anyway so this thing's doing really well and i'm gonna take the plunge today and i'm gonna completely cut this tree off Okay, so first of all, I have to get these little guys out. Sorry, buddy. Go chill there in the bonsai. There he goes. I had a look around the tree for some more chameleons. I couldn't see any. And um, so I'm using uh, this very sharp, clean little saw. And I'm literally just going to go in, going to maybe just give it a give an old stake there. Um, I maybe might just, for safety, keep this little branch and that little branch. Um, maybe some above. Let's start higher up rather than um, and too low. So sorry, it's tough to saw and record at the same time and there goes the whole tree pretty much and there's a lot of a lot of cool mulching material that I'll add back underneath this tree and then obviously for that wound I'll clean it up nicely just now and then I just you can just use any proper tree seal this is a nice wound sealer I'll seal all these wounds and um, there's still a branch in the back I'll remove so I'll do all that quickly and I'll show you what the end product looks like okay so it's it's quite sad it looks quite sad now but it's it's for the greater good in the in the long run so you can see we've got a really good solid graft union over there 
like I said, this branch is about a year old since I grafted it. And um, so now I'm just going to use this trunk. I'm going to tie some nursery tape around here. And then slowly but surely sort of just pull this, this branch up. So um, that I sort of create. I've gone a little bit further down with these little branches. Maybe uh, I've still left myself with the option to graft lamb onto this, on these branches. If um, for some reason I change my mind or I don't want the Pinkerton on here. And then um, I can always graft the, um, the lamb on, onto that. And there's another little branch that's making buds that will, that, that I'd be... You know, it would be potential grafting areas um, on that branch at a later stage. Um, but now I'll just pull this, pull this little Pinkerton branch up with some nursery tape or a, and a stake, and then um, just to give him apical dominance over and above these. This is a really aggressive rootstock, so it, it'll always try and take over the graft. So that's why I want to just try and pull the graft upwards um, for now, so that I. I gain that apical dominance. Okay, so this is the route I'm going. I've just got a, a metal stake um, that I welded a wire on and then put some plastic sleeves over it to make it softer, like a silicone -y sort of sleeve. So, and now I've pushed that branch up as you can see. And it's it's uh, about 30 centimeters just above the, the other foliage, the old original foliage on the tree. I can't bend it up much more than that. I'm scared that I pop the graft, the, the, it breaks by the graft union. It shouldn't because it's, it's more than a year, or just a little bit over a year old, that graft union. Um, so but now all that energy that was in that foliage, um, or that was you know moving up and down between the foliage and the roots, um, the, the the energy um, is now that's now in the roots will go into into this branch and this should grow fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, let's let's see, let's keep an eye on it. But um, and I'll just go off and seal seal that wound, the wounds that I've made, just to prevent you know any sort of disease or anything that that can get in there. Hey, okay, and um, just cut this branch at a bit of an angle so that if it rains water doesn't collect there on a, on a flat spot and I'm just going to put a generous amount of the sealer over that wound um, I prefer the black bitumen um, that ABE product I always use which is such awesome tree seal you can see there's still from like three years ago there's still remnants it's still sealed and it um, can expand as the, the tree heel goes with it and the tree eventually um, engulfs it. Anyway, but so that should be fine. I'll let that dry and I'll give it another coat um, at a later stage. Then I've got another fairly, for some reason, got focusing issues today. Okay, so I'll just give that a good seal. A little bit more. Okay, so my two two biggest wounds are sealed now. I'll show you from this angle. There's all the the whole canopy, all the foliage. I'll break that up and put it around all the way around over this mulch for some extra organic matter. And so that's it. Thanks for watching, and um, I'll do updates in the future of this tree and see how it goes and who knows maybe even those flowers that's starting on that Pinkerton might set because we got a very strong root stock here in the bottom that'll be cool thanks for watching enjoy your Sunday cheers